Priscilla in Tianjin, Tianjin, China, writes to me, Hi, Paul. I love your channel. Well, thank you, my dear. Uh, and thanks for your kind videos, which solve most of my problems, especially in non, your non-biased opinion about Made in China. Oh, I have a biased opinion about Made in China. I think it's great stuff. And I don't, I still don't understand all this, well, ain't made over here. So <laughs> I don't like it when the Chinese do it to us, and I don't like it when we do it to the, we are a community in the world. And let's, let's be friendly to each other. It, th there's great stuff made in China. There's great stuff made in the United States. I think I saw something the other day where there's almost nothing that is entirely made in the United States except for some wood products like furniture and stuff. And even that, the, the screws and the nails or the, you know, are, are made somewhere else. We're, look, we're a worldwide economy and nobody wants to steal jobs from home, but I, that's not what's going on. Let's, let's wrap our arms around each other and try and live like a community, like a family and ignore the idiots that are running each of our countries. I mean, hey, I promised I'm not gonna get political and I will just say, let us not judge the citizens of other countries by the jobs that run them, okay? Just because you don't like the guy in charge doesn't mean that you don't like my neighbor or I don't like your neighbor. That's crazy talk. Let's just be friends. Okay, all right, enough said. Um, <laughs> I'll probably get a complete ration of you-know-what for that. All right, which boggles my mind. As a freshman in the monitor system, not sure what that means, uh, I'm worried that sonic testing will cause damage when I play low frequencies, like 20 hertz, or high frequencies, like 20 kilohertz, to test my monitor under low level so I can promise it doesn't... Oh, I see. Okay, she has monitor speakers. Uh, will this inaudible signal cause problems for the speaker? No, I don't think that should be a problem. Y you may have issues if it really goes low in frequency and you drive it too hard or too loud. You could have too much excursion on the woofer and damage it, but it's unlikely and honestly, it wouldn't be too well designed if it did damage it. So. I'm gonna say no, I don't think you have a problem. I can't imagine a tweeter that can't play a 20 kilohertz, well, there aren't that many that, that fully play 20 kilohertz loud anyway, but of those that do, you're not gonna damage anything. So, nope, go ahead, you can even put in, like I, I routinely take some of our woofers and I'll, I'll do the battery test where you hit it and it goes thunk, Vunk, vunk. That's like, what, a tenth of a hertz? Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't hurt him at all. Now, you don't want to keep a woofer in the on position for too long. That'll heat up the coil. But as long as it's moving back and forth, you're in good shape. Okay. Thanks for the question. Take it easy. Bye.